Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, and I'm here to bring you a world exclusive. This is a world exclusive look at the forthcoming indie title Space Pirates and Zombies. I will stress before I go on that this is a pre-alpha release built specifically for CynicalBrit.com, which means that this does not represent the final product. Bear this in mind, folks, before we see anything. Got that into your head? Cool. Right, so this is by a company called MinMax Games, and the idea of it is that it's a space shooter, top-down, with a very significant metagame element to it. If I were to compare it to anything, it would probably have to be Starscape. However, it's way more advanced than that as far as I can tell. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a thorough look at it. I've been told by the developers that this demo contains about an hour's worth of gameplay, so we're going to do about an hour's worth of gameplay, and we'll see exactly what happens with it. So the first thing we're doing is we're generating a galaxy right here. Now, galaxies, you can change the amount of stars available, as you can see, and generate it there. Now, I believe this demo will only let me go to the first two, so we'll just create one nice and easy, no problem at all. Right, and uh, then we can start this up. Very cool. I say I do like space shooters, and I particularly like it when they have some kind of crazy element to it, like research, like resource gathering and management, things like that. And that seems to be the order of the day when it comes to space pirates and zombies, even though it has a rather odd name, no question about that. Now, bear in mind, of course, this pre-alpha is lacking things like voice acting, and a lot of the music and some of the video assets are not in yet. So, again, just... Bear that in mind whenever you see anything. Yes, indeed. Something, something dark side. Something, something complete. In mind, we, you know, we probably don't really care about the storyline too much at this point in time. Can we skip past it? Yes, we can. There we go. And straight into what it looks like a talk engine game. As far as I can tell, it's a very popular engine now with indie developers simply because of the licensing system with it. Okay, right, so we are on that, which is now somewhat broken, unfortunately for us. Nice particle effects. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, so we are going to start by building a ship by the looks of it. And like I said, I haven't played this game before, so trying to learn it as we go. And they also asked me to provide feedback. So as we go along, if there's anything we run into that's a little bit dodgy and has issues, then we'll deal with it. So, okay, start by setting up some this is the tiny holes. One assumes there are larger holes. This is the only one available. The short bus, ladies and gentlemen. Would you like to climb aboard the short bus? Evidently, you would. Right, and it does have a ship design set of functionality. Shields, surplus shield, surplus reactor, surplus engine. I don't feel safe in this by any stretch of the imagination. Indeed. There we go. Let's build ourselves one of those. Push the space to exit the hangar and wait for your new ships. Ship under construction. There we go. Very cool. Zoom in and out at the meantime. Okay, there we go. The graphic style looks quite similar, actually, to gratuitous space battles in certain respects. I have to wonder if the same artist dealt with it. You never know. Okay, right. Flying controls. This is interesting. So, strafe functionality would appear to be there. You've got side thrusters A and D, so there's your strafing. However, you point in the direction of the mouse, and you do have a fairly limited turning circle. So, that is definitely something to bear in mind. Zoom in and out is, of course, also available. I also have stabilizers, which one has to assume will stop you. Yes, there you go. Right, okay, very cool. What is this? And should I shoot it with my lasers? More to the point. It's probably the most important thing to bear in mind when doing anything. Okay, apparently that's crew life pods, so we're not interested in that. And we're going to go off and fetch a part. Hmm, okay. Already feeling a little bit like Eve, isn't it? Go mine this. Go pick up this. Okay. Alright, radar markers. Fairly easy to understand. And a uh, ship's log and help indicator. Always handy to have. We turn this all the way back to the mother ship and see exactly what happens. I'm hoping I don't get attacked in this thing. Somehow I don't think it can take much punishment. Okay, there you go. All sorted. Mm. 
Damage vent to most of our res supply. We even lost all the damn liquor. We need to restock before you can build more ships. There's a mining station in the system, and we're going to head on over there. Right, okay then. Space to travel to another destination. Right, so we have a system map available. Okay. This is kind of cool and advanced itself. I'm a big fan of that. So it looks like we're going in this direction, folks. We are deploying the warp beacon. There's my first little bit of feedback there. Spelling errors. That again, I don't think that's really high at the priority list when you're dealing with a pre-alpha product. Okay. We can do a little bit of mining. <laughs> I like the sense of humor in this as well. Not that I would expect a game named Space Pirates and Zombies to lack in the humor department. Okay, right, so we deploy short-range warping so we can transfer ships and res back and forth instantly. You can find res, which I assume, well, that stands for resources, I would think, by destroying asteroids with weapons fire. Fly over res, pick it up, and bring it back. Right, okay, no problem at all. Should be easy enough done, I think. We're going in this direction. So this game doesn't actually have a mini-map, at least not at this stage, which is kind of intriguing. So it looks like the game is sort of based on this semi-odd system of the way that you see your, those icons around the edge of the screen. Which is okay. I mean, sometimes it is nice to have a mini-map, though. I'm alright with it, though. It's, it's not it's not a big deal. Also, I can't help but notice that this dude is stealing all of my stuff, so that is the automated mining system, and I don't think I can really do much to actually say destroy it, and indeed it told me not to. Probably not the best of ideas. I have to wonder how freeform this game actually is in that regard. Bearing in mind that an awful lot of games will allow you to do sort of crazy things that are beyond the realms of what you're supposed to be doing. Indeed, I remember one of my favorites actually is the X series, which is effectively, uh, well, I could say an elite clone, but it really isn't. It's, an, it's a rather logical evolution on elite. Right, now how much res did I actually collect there? Didn't seem to actually tell me. Was that enough? Evidently it was not. Green res is worth one. My cargo hold most likely sucks by the looks of it. And I'm seeing no reason to disbelieve that. There we go. Yoink. How much is in my cargo hold? How much capacity do I actually have? It doesn't... It doesn't seem to... Oh, we're collecting res near the station now. No, I've already got res. I'm full on res, in fact. Bring it back to the warp beacon. There we go. Okay, fantastic. New ships. Always good when I crash the old one. Okay, bad news. Explosion has wiped out the construction database. Oh, yes. How very inconvenient. So, yeah, we can't build anything. All right, let's build a couple of attack ships. Now, hotkeys to go straight here. There's the outfitting screen, and you can do a lot of modifications to it. Again, I like ship design. Ship design is a very attractive element of any space game to me. A lack of ship design upsets me greatly. Get back here. Thank you very much. Okay. So, that's my basic ship. I have an empty hangar right here. I can build one of these things. Weapons-wise, small surplus beam emitters. I assume I don't have anything more advanced than that. Oh, no. I can either put a small mining laser on it, or a small surplus beam emitter, or a small surplus pulse cannon. Uh, we'll stick with the beam emitters for the time being, I think. There we go. Very cool. And it told me to build two, as I recall. However, I don't seem to have a hangar space for that, so we'll go back here initially you now have two hangers well either that or they want me to get rid of this thing okay cool we have NPC ships that's kind of neat right F3 let's have a look at what else we got oh can we change this around I assume so Ooh, small holes are accessible now this is cool the gimp I would not want to in fact fly in the gimp the turtle head in fact I wouldn't want to fly in that either I, I can take the Ranger series, or perhaps the Colt, but the Turtle Head and the Gimp? Maybe not. Not so happy about that. Not the kind of thing that you would re even be seen dead in. Let's grab some pulse cannons on this one, why not? There we go. I do not have the resources for that. Right, indeed. Well, in that case, it looks like we're not doing anything there. Let's go and mine some more resources first. Yes, I would love to go do some combat, but I apparently need to do some more mining because I don't have any resources. I am... Oh, and you can switch between the two at will. Okay, right, cool. Ooh, nice beam effects. Cool. What happens if I actually shoot things? Oh, my mining ship is doing it automatically. Ow! So, what the hell? <laughs> right, so my dart just exploded. In fact, all of my stuff just exploded. That was not so great. 
I'm being shot by something. Alright, okay. I don't have enough resources to build anything. That's a problem. It's very problematic, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so, what about if we switch back to this? Okay, so these things are free. That's... Nice. Bit problematic, isn't it? I wonder if I can get two of those, actually. I don't see why not. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it takes time to build, doesn't it? Let's change back to that. Yeah, these things cost nothing, so if I have two of these, maybe I can mine faster. Probably a good idea. Warp that in. There we go. I have two of them. Now, hopefully, it. I don't really know what it did there in order to get me killed. I don't really know what happened. That's crew. Which is kind of important, because those those are my escape pods. I think we want to get those back somehow. Right, is my little other guy actually mining stuff? Yes, seems to be. Huh, there's just crew floating around all over the place for no apparent reason. suppose that could be handy. Take them prisoner. Yes, I remember the days when you were able to do that. Indeed, X3 allowed you to do that. You could sell things to slaves. Actually, didn't Elite allow you to do that? That is going back a little bit, I'll tell you that. Okay, no cargo space. None whatsoever. I only have nine res. Where's my other guy? Oh, he's going back automatically. Okay, that's sweet. Cool. I can automate some of the more boring tasks. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go and deliver that. Admittedly, he doesn't seem to want to go mine anymore. He just seems to want to hang around near where my ship is. I wonder if we can actually give orders in this game. Maybe not at this point. Anyway. Right. Okay. So I have good res now. So I assume I can now build two of these darts that it was asking me. Do we want it? Yes, we need to refit it, don't we? Oh, right, okay, you can refit it with a new hull. Right, that's kind of sweet. Let's change this around. Maybe give it some decent weapons. There we go. Okay. Right. Let's wait and see if my ships get blown up as soon as I do anything with them. Generally, not the best thing to happen in space, I tend to find. It is what I would describe as suboptimal. Right, okay. Very cool. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. Right, okay, so you can switch between them in the fleet. Right, that's fine. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Dock with the mining base. I don't want to dock with the mining base. I don't trust the mining base in any way, shape, or form. I think it's out to get me. Now, handling in this game is... Well, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it also depends on the ship you're using. I mean... I personally don't really have a problem with this ship. It seems to be alright. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it per se. Ooh, stuff. Right. Info boards. Great. Improve star relations. We can't do that. Con convert crew to res. That's not very nice, is it? I can imagine that. An absolutely brutal thing to do. So I just grabbed myself some water. We're gonna be here for a while. Mmm. Delicious. Yes. Convert the crew to res. Oh, we didn't need you anyway. We're just going to turn you into resource. Probably grind you into a fine paste. Ooh. Black market catalog. That sounds fun. Mmm. Component blueprints for sale. Very nice. Stuff. What can you get? A pulse cannon. Can't afford it. As to why, I don't know. Blueprint cost is 41. Is that 41 res? Standard shield and medium armor. Okay. And that's a required tech level. Right. So I can't afford it. Something we could definitely have a look into at some point. Looks like we're doing some quest stuff. Oh, there we go. Neat. Alright, so we're dealing with a pirate issue. Interesting. Alright, the question is where do we need to go to deal with this pirate issue? Wait a minute. It's based to go to mission location. Oh yeah, of course. I keep forgetting about that warp capability. Back to the star map. Was it the star map? No, it's a system map. I'm glad that the tutorial in this game is actually quite good even for a pre-alpha version. I would be very much confused otherwise. Alright, we're going over here. Already kind of liking this quite a lot. I also cannot help but notice that I might end up getting shot to pieces. Tactics panel. There you go. There's your orders. That absolutely fantastic. That was what I was looking for. Nice little bit of nice and simple fleet command. Alright, select all ships. This is intriguing. This has got an awful lot of depth to it. Okay, select all ships. Space to close the tactics panel. Do I want to close the tactics panel? Do I want them to go here? Sound, sounds okay. Let's go there. 
Right, so I've given them orders to go in this direction. We are destroying crates. Yes, I am capable of this, sort of. And also, this, this dude doesn't look friendly. Is he friendly? I don't know. I, I can't figure out if he's friendly or not. He seems to be following me around a little bit. Let's shoot him. Let's, yes. Shooting him sounds like a good idea. You know, I don't seem to be damaging him all that much, so maybe it isn't. Anyway, whatever the case, that is not what we're here for. We're here to blow up storage crates, which is a job for a space pirate. Also, a little bit of debris. Float. Oh, okay. Explosive barrels bad even in space. There you go. Lesson learned. Whoops. I think we need to rebuild that ship, don't we? <laughs> Such a noob. It's a, give that one some pulse cannons. There we go. Explosive barrels are bad in space. More at 11. Maybe that was just some guns ejected warp core. Always a problematic. Now, these guys look friendly, so I'm not too worried about them right now. And you can blow up cargo. Quite nice particle effects as well. Again, the torque engine is capable of quite a lot, but only really based on the status of the graphic designer. Like, hey, you've got a great engine, but my graphic design is terrible, so the game looks like ass. Thankfully, they're not a problem. Okay. I need to sort of get the hang of this tactics panel here. So if I select all ships and send them in this direction... Right click, will that work? Okay, right, so one is all the way over here. Unhelpful. What is that? Will it actually give me any information? It will not. No, it's just that ship. Right. Okay. Let's blow up some more storage crates, get things going. Oh yes, there we go. Yeah, hey, liking the weapon effects on this. Particularly impressive as far as I'm concerned. Bearing in mind, you know, it's a two-dimensional game, and some people might say, well, Total Biscuit, it's a two-dimensional game! How is that impressive? Well, it's impressive because they have designed it in such a way that it looks good within the world. It doesn't have to be mega uber super hyper graphics, but it does need to look good. Feels like a certain amount of care has been put into the world. Okay. Data can be found in many places, and you receive upgrade points for the research screen. Like, again, this, this game gets more and more complex by the minute, which is good. You know, I like that. It's it's very easy to make a simplistic shooter. Also, I'd like to point out the UI elements that I quite like. I like this. Look at the cursor right now. Watch this. Get out of my way. There you go. If I fire my laser, yes indeed, if I am firing it, then the actual energy for my laser is actually on the crosshair. That's actually a really cool UI element, and it doesn't force me to look at other parts of the screen. It lets me keep things in perspective and indeed keep a close eye on my resources. I like that. It's a very cool feature. Right, anyway, we were going to the research screen, weren't we? Right. Ooh, sweet. Launches. Mines. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Bombs. Right, left click on reactants. And you can spend points to level them up by the looks of it. Right, are we on level one right now? We are upgrading the reactor output by 10%. Cool. Let's uh, upgrade the beams as well. Why not? Beam damage up by 20%. And we'll put one into cannons as well. Sounds like a pretty good idea. There we go. Okay, we are in business. The question is, now what? We need to go blow up the rest of these crates, don't we? I'm using the pulse cannon on this, which seems to drain your energy really fast, but I have to imagine its DPS is quite high. Now, what I'd like to do is try and figure out how exactly can I just get this guy to follow me again? What orders do we have? Collect mode. Great. Oh my god, you can automate mining. Thank god for that. That's actually something I didn't like so much in Starscaper. There was quite a lot of mining and nonsense like that. Advanced tactics. Whew. That's kind of cool. They really have gone all out with this one, haven't they? Right. What happens if I if I select that, will he start to follow me again? Well, there's one way to find out. Anyway, I'm sorry, I just love this cynical Brit demo. That's great. And uh just it's it's really fantastic to actually get something that no one's actually played before. And indeed, it, it is an act of trust to do so. Something that you got to bear in mind. You know, this is the first ever outing the game is getting beyond its official trailer, so trusting me to play it, yeah, that's kind of risky. You know, I might take a dump on it. Thankfully, I'm not doing so right now because what I'm seeing here is a great degree of innovation and possibly a great degree of replayability as well. And bear in mind that a lot of this galaxy is actually randomly generated, so I have to wonder just how much procedurally generated content you're going to get here. We have an obsolete ship. Which one? Oh, yeah. Okay. We can upgrade these things, can't we? Uh, right. Okay, how do you do this? I don't see any obsolete ship here. 
Or is it the reactor? No. No. Huh. Okay. All right. That doesn't seem to really explain itself. You should consider refitting it with newer or better parts. I don't think I have newer or better parts, do I? As far as I'm aware. Pulse cannon. Small surplus pulse cannon. Small surplus. Well, you know, I can't do anything with that. Did I just remove all my stuff I did in that? Engine. Engine's pretty much the same as it was. Reactor's pretty much the same as it was, I think. As far as I can tell. Huh, weird. Okay, whatever. It's a issue with the game, evidently. Let's go and finish off the rest of these crates, and then we can advance and see exactly what's going on. Oh dear! That doesn't sound good, does it? Hmm. <laughs> nice! Okay, blow up some stuff. Sounds like a plan, folks. Sounds like a plan. Oh, wow, it has directional shields. That's quite surprising for a two-dimensional game. Huh. Okay. Target faction. You press F and R to lock onto various non-allied targets. Right. Watch your capacitor level. Right. Okay, then. Well, we have dudes, and they're not friendly. Where? More to the point, where are... Where's my other ship? Oh, there he is. Right. Okay, cool. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to collect it anyway. It's alright, these civilians, like, have really big missile launchers. I can just hide behind them. Sounds totally reasonable. God, some space pirate I am. I suck. Let's keep saying my ship is obsolete. I, you know what? That is insulting, I might add. That's very upsetting to me. Just go on, have it. Bearing in mind that the ships can move quite rapidly, aiming the pulse cannon is a little bit tricky. Ooh, another level up. Always nice. We love the levels up, folks. Yes, we do. There you go. Death to all those who play Force Metal. Grab one of those. Yeah! Woo! A game loves it. Yes, it does. The mission is complete, and I will do a victory spin. Is there anything else in here that's worth having? I keep complaining about my obsolete hull. I need to have a, go and have another look at the actual hull itself. It's, it looks like the same hull, unless I'm upgrading the hull, which I'm not, so there you go. Whatever the case. Research, right. So we can have a look into launchers, engines, and shields if we so desire. Might drop one into shields. Sounds pretty good. Can I put two into reactor? Yes, I can. There you go. Let's get that upgraded. Fantastic. Right. So, that's all complete. No problem at all. So, I assume we need to go back to the space map thing. There we go. Systems map. Go buy stuff. I'm happy with that idea. So, we're going all the way back here. Are we going to Uranus? No, we want to go and buy stuff. So, we're going to the Jupiter mining station in order to do that. I like the fact that this has a lot of elements from games like, say, X3. But it has simplified it down to a level where most of the tedium is taken out of it. I think a lot of people really enjoy the idea of a game like X. I mean, I love that game. I love it to death. And it, it's, a, it's a fairly good comparison here because this is a sort of go around, do some missions, and sort of screw around in space with a the fleet. There's not a lot of games that actually allow you to do that anymore. Now, what I would say is that X is really great, but has a real problem in that there are, is just too much to manage for some people. In this game, it takes a lot of the workload off of you and just lets the game deal with it. I'm okay with that. That sounds good. Right. So, we can buy an upgraded pulse cannon, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we can. Sounds like a plan. Purchase the required blueprints. Once unlocked, it will show up in the hangar. Fantastic. And we can't get these, apparently, because we cannot afford them. And you need a certain tech level. Require level 2 shields for that. And level 2 armor, which we have not researched. Right. Okay, then. So my pulse cannon is now available. Now we can probably refit. Maybe it'll stop complaining. Apparently there's new ships available, but I don't see any new ships at all. So... I think it's lying to me. Right, let's try and refit this with a better pulse cannon. A small pulse cannon, if we compare that to the surplus pulse cannon, it is a significantly better gun. There we go. Refit that, and we can refit the other guy as well, I guess. We'll have them both use pulse cannons. Sounds sensible, they're the highest technology weapon I've got available to me. Get these refitted. It would kind of suck if you got shot while you were doing this. It's probably best not to do it in combat. 
There we go, and I have now completely vanished. Right, so it sort of warps you out, teleports you back in by the looks of it. Right, let's test out our new weapons. Hey, shiny green balls. Always a big fan of shiny green balls. Is it asking us to dock again? Perhaps it is. Well, I'm not seeing any other opportunities right now. Let's see, at least you can get access to that. That's good, that's good. Uh, we should probably not shoot that. That's a bad idea. I'm fairly sure that's what I did last time. I accidentally shot it or something, then I got annihilated. It'll be my explanation for it at any rate. Right, so... As I recall, there was another mission we had to do, so I'm going to go check that out. So there's probably a little bit more than an hour of gameplay here, as far as I can tell. Do, 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 do. Warp beacon. Uh, do I even have to go here? I probably don't, do I? No. No, I actually do not. Minus favors, three of four. Destroy the civilian rogues. Although it doesn't seem to actually tell me where those are. Possibly uh, that Uranus thing that I was looking at earlier. Right, system map. Yeah, that's where we're going, folks. That is where we are going. To Uranus! Deploy! Yes. There we go. Okay, can my AI ship deal with all of this stuff? Well, maybe. It's probably a much better shot than I am. Admittedly, not by much. Not by much. Go on, have it, have it, have it. There you go. Ooh, there's tons of stuff here. I love stuff. We're going to collect all of it. I don't know what it does, but we'll have it anyway. Total crew. Okay, so I have crew. That's good. What is all of this? Well, this is my cargo hold is really very much full. I need to go and find the warp beacon in order to empty that. I'll leave my other guy dealing with this. And I can go and drop all of this off at the warp beacon. Sounds like a plan. Don't know what the cargo hold on something like this actually is. Can't be all that large. Possibly not as large as the short bus, but you never know. Ooh, crew. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, we're supposed to get that. Now, ships do have a little bit of float, as you can tell. Like I say, using the stabilize button is probably a good idea. The button that I have singularly forgotten how to use. If you haven't noticed, by the way, I have problems with short-term memory. And a lot of people were saying during the video of... What is it called? Yes, Magicka. My god, how ironic to forget it during that, or indeed how appropriate. It's like, how can you... Just forget something you've just learned. Well, I'm actually dyspraxic, which is fairly unhelpful. It, it's a disability that affects various things, including some motor control and memory. Short term, specifically. So, I have a tendency of forgetting things that I've just learned. It's very irritating. It's probably very irritating to those who watch my live videos as well. Stop shooting the missiles at me, thank you very much. At least my shield seemed to be in a reasonable nick. All sorts of stuff floating all over the place. <laughs> thankfully, those missiles... I was going to say, thankfully, those missiles are particularly bad shots, but evidently not so much. Get over here. I just want to pick you up, whatever you are. It's the crew pod. Oh, right. I I've had enough of this joker. Oh, he shot up my other dart ship as well. I am not happy about that. I wonder where that crew came from. Oh, yeah, it's my guy. Stop it. These civilians have some pretty goddamn powerful weapons. Second Amendment and space my ass. Get over here. Ow, 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 ow. My shields are not holding, Captain. They don't have the power. Come on. I picked the weapon that makes me the worst shot in the world. I should have probably picked something easier. Also, my capacitor really sucks. It do something about that. Come on. I, I have no energy. Thankfully, he doesn't either. My god, those missiles are really hard to evade. Possibly impossible. I never know. See, this guy isn't dying, which is problematic. I like it when my enemies die. It's very helpful. Really useful. Come on. Have at it. Actually, I could pause this in the meantime, can't I, and build another one of these dudes. I set it to auto-rebuild for the time being. That should at least bring me a friend to help deal with this nonsense. Stop it. I've been shooting this guy all day. He refuses to die. Some civilian... That's a surplus ship, apparently. Can't be that much of a bloody surplus, at least in comparison to mine. There we go, I brought friends. Debris! I love debris in space. Hmm, yeah. black box. Collect black boxes to reverse engineer the ship type. Cool beans. Yeah, big fan of that. Yes, I just, just... 
was I using it ironically? Maybe. Maybe. I did just say the word cool beans, which I have not heard since watching Jumanji. And I think that wasn't even Jumanji, it was actually Jumanji the Animated Series, which must have been when I was about, what, 10, maybe? Yeah, that's, that's bad. That is pretty horrendous.